What's up, YouTube? So, today I wanted to do another review. Um, I got this on the BST just before Christmas. Um, it's got some dings. I got it pretty cheap. So, uh, this, this sort of completes my Duncan collection for 2016, I think. Um, but anyway, so this is the Duncan Grasshopper. This was released earlier this year. Uh, this is Janos Kranz. Kranz? K R A. Anyway. K A R, actually. K A R A N C Z. Janos is a world champion. He was a 1A world champion. I'm not sure when, but uh, he puts up videos sometimes that are really awesome. And the Duncan video for this. Um, he does some really cool tricks. I'll probably link it in the comments below. Um, anyway, so uh, I've already got um, a couple of other. Duncan's this year, uh, actually three others, but um, I, I really liked the Barracuda, which doesn't isn't anything like this, so I didn't bring out for comparison. And I also really liked the um, Origami, which is newer than the Grasshopper. This came out last month. Um, and anyway, uh, a lot of guys had liked the Grasshopper a lot, and it's it had it had gotten a lot of really good reviews, and a lot of people were really into it. So. Um, Went went on the hunt for one. Looked at the, looked on the uh, Facebook buy sell trade yo yo page, and uh, came across this one. Uh, it's a little dinged up. Um, that just means it's been played a lot. It's got some love. Um, it was pretty dirty too when I got it, but uh, I cleaned it up. Uh, you know, sometimes with these matte finishes, you get oils and stuff from your hand. It like kind of takes away from the color a little bit. So it was kind of a, a little bit of a different color when I got it. Even I was like, "What color is that? Is it green? Is it?" But it's the, uh, it's that like blue that it comes in. Um, what's the color that they actually call it? Um, teal. It's teal. This is a teal yo-yo. Go figure. Anyway, so uh, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, so specs. This is a 56.35 millimeter um, diameter yo-yo. So pretty big. Uh, the width is 44.25 millimeters, the gap width is 4.45 millimeters, and comes in at 65.9 grams in weight, uh, at least that's what it ships with. Uh, uh, comes. This doesn't have the stock bearing in it, this came with uh, what appears to me to be like a Boss Rage bearing, um, but these should ship with the standard Duncan concave 10 ball bearings that uh, they license from Diffio or the I think they make their own like I said in the other video so it should come with the same bearing as the origami I think um, but this one didn't I got this on the BST so this wasn't like I didn't buy this new so I didn't unbox it new and, and all that jazz but uh, anyway so uh, gotta say I really really dig this uh, it's it's every bit as good I think as the uh, the origami and the the barracuda. So Duncan really killed it in 2016. Um, this one, um, despite getting it used, it had a little bit of vibe when I got it. Um, still vibes a little bit, but not barely anything. I mean, you can detect it if you're looking for it. But um, it spins pretty smooth. It spins a pretty long time, and uh, you know, basically just looks awesome plays awesome um, anyway so uh, it's got like I said the uh, the centering bearing I'm not gonna pull it apart because I had to tune it a little bit um, I'll probably do another video of what to do like if you get a yo-yo on on the BST that comes kind of like you know you get it cheap because it's like well it's beat up or whatever um, just kind of show you how to take a yo-yo that, that needs love and give it love and, and make it feel new ish again so um, when this one came in the mail, I had to kind of tune it a little bit, flip the axle around, play with it until uh, it's real smooth. It actually came missing one pad, but it's okay. I had more pads, so I replaced the pads. Anyway, they were pretty worn. The one that was still in there was pretty worn anyway. So I uh, replaced uh, all new pads, and um, the uh, scuffs on the edge were kind of rough. can't even feel them now, but uh, hit them with a little bit of, like, 800 grit sandpaper just to kind of like smooth out the rough spots and uh, it's now smooth as could be uh, I mean you know you could see the dings you could see the scrapes but yo-yos are meant to be played so you know the fact that somebody bought a $50 yo-yo and then played the heck out of it um, is pretty cool because that means it's a pretty cool yo-yo and uh, you know can't can't complain about yo-yos that uh, they get played so much that they get dinged up because uh, the best loved uh, yo-yos and 
stuff are always the best yo-yos. So anyway, so like I said, it's uh, it's very similar in shape to the origami. Uh, the the weight dimen the weight's a little bit different, but uh, very similar in shape to the origami. This is kind of more of a like it's, it's a little more rounded, whereas this is kind of more of a V sort of. Um, so it's a little more rounded. Uh, pretty similar to the uh, N12 Shark's Honor. Um, just it's the N12 is smaller and heavier. This is like bigger and lighter. See, Even bigger here. I guess it's actually pretty much the same width. It's just uh, the uh, diameter is bigger. It's got, it's got a bigger diameter, but the same width as the N12 Shark's Honor, and the Shark's Honor is heavier. Um, and uh, it's also pretty close in diameter anyway to the shutter. This is actually the Shuta, but whatever, it's the same ish. Um, so pretty sa pretty similar diameter to the shutter. Um, width is pretty close too. But uh, you know, it's a uh, it's you pretty much your standard competition type uh, type yo-yo. It's it's not uh, any specific like hard H or hard V or or anything type of shape. It's it's kind of your your standard competition shape, the sort of rounded off W or H or whatever it is. Um, the side cap's pretty cool. It's got like this step here, but most of the weight sits in the rim. And then uh, this little flat cap here that's got some graphics. There's some grass. There's a grasshopper. And they look really cool. And uh, I like the finish. I like the Duncan finishes. It's pretty much the same finish, like, type, or, you know, comparably done as uh, with the origami. Um, and uh, it's really really just nice yo-yo smooth playing yo-yo uh it's it's it catches easy on the string uh glides nice um like i said it's got kind of that boss rage bearing that's kind of got that little like dimple in the middle to like keep the string absolutely centered uh, i don't know if i like that better than i mean i guess i like that better than the concave bearings but uh, i don't know if i like it better than like a center track bearing where it keeps it off the keeps it off the response pads but also gives the string a little bit of chance to move so that you're not getting your string stuck on top of your string and having it snag up if the string's a little bit frayed or worn. Um, so, I, I don't know, that's my uh, that's my two cents. It really doesn't, I mean, it, it they all play great, and this plays great. Um, so, yeah, you know, Duncan really killing it, I think, in 2016. Um, so, the origami's great, the 2016 Barracuda's great, Grasshopper, also great so uh, you know for 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 my money um, you know watch out for Duncan I'm, I'm interested in what they're gonna do in 2017 now too because uh, uh, you know I've always been a Duncan fan I love throwing Duncan yo-yos I think it's uh, you know you always get what you're paying for with Duncan um, you know I've got other complaints about other companies where that maybe isn't the case but uh, I think with Duncan like you know if, if you're gonna get it you know if you're gonna pay three dollars you're gonna get his baseline you know as you're going to get, like an Imperial or a Butterfly, like, you know, performance may not be great, but at the same time, it's, uh, you know, you paid $3 for it, and then on up the range, it's like, oh, well, that doesn't play professionally, well, you paid $6 for it, so, you know, maybe it's not, uh, maybe it's not a professional yo, but then when you pay the $50, or I only paid like 20 or 25 for this, but, um, you know, when you pay the $50 for the new ones, I mean, it's, every bit as good as everything Yo-Yo Factory puts in that price range, and in my opinion, you know, um, at least with the stuff that they did this year, uh, as far as their, like, you know, $50 throws and $45 throws that came out this year, just, I mean, shockingly good. Maybe not shockingly good, because Duncan's are usually pretty good, but I think they're good. Duncan knows their price ranges, and they know what they can get away with, and, uh, you know, they routinely drop prices on stuff. And, um, you know, so when you pay $25 for a yo-yo they put out in 2011, um, it's still good and it's still fun. And, uh, you know, they show that they know that it's outdated by dropping the price a lot. So, uh, you know, when they put out new yo-yos and they're 50 bucks, you know, this is as uh, modern and competitive in that price range as it gets. So, uh, got to say, loving the grasshopper, um, you know. Loving the 2016 Duncan stuff, and uh, 
you know, that's it for me today, guys. But uh, I'll probably try to do a uh, kind of a 2016 wrap-up video here pretty soon and kind of go through all the yo-yos I got this year. Maybe not all of them, but, like, just kind of show you my case and talk about some of the stuff that's in it. I'll try to do that this week. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers to you. And I'll see you next time.